Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here. So I am here with um, part two of um, my haul. So I got this this stuff over at um, at a consignment shop, and I'm trying to get stuff that would um, work so I can make 10 inch stuff and sell it. So that's what we're gonna look at. So we're gonna make all different kinds of little things. So I'm going to show you what we we got here. Um, it doesn't matter what size you get. You just have to make it smaller once you're done. So um, I figured, especially considering that it's this time uh, of year, I figured white would be a really nice color. Plus, this is co-ed. This could be for a boy or for a girl. I think this would probably be a really cute set to go home like, you know, like your your baby's first um, outfit or pajama set or something like that. Um, because it just says, you know, first friend or something like that. So I just thought that that would be just a really cute, you know, um, sleeper or, you know, outfit set or something like that. So we're probably going to make a sleeper out of that. And then this one, let's see, this says first ride. And I don't really know what drew me to these. I think it was because they had the small characters on there, really. So it just says first ride. And then this one. It must have been this one. This one I'm going to keep. Because this is definitely co-ed. So these two I'm probably going to have for sale. Because I really wanted to get things. And this is, um... The other reason why I like these is because these are more co-ed. So I got these two. And the more, the bigger they are, the more fabric you have to work with. So there are different things you can do. And you can also um, make them two different, uh, if you cut two different materials, you can actually make this into like two different things. So this could be the white and then right here, you could just have a whole different, you know, if you wanted this to be more of a flowery or whatever, it, to make it more girly, or if you just wanted it to be a different color, um, you can make it into, like, a shorts, um, with some snaps. You just use the snaps at the bottom of something. Uh, or I'm sorry, you don't use the snaps at the bottom, you put the snaps in the back. So anyways, um, uh, but you can make it, like, into shorts or, sh or pants or whatever, so. And then this one right here. Just has the duckies. So that's what attracted me, I think, to it. Because I'm going to keep the ducky thing. Um, it says my uh, first giggle. And I really like that because that is co-ed. So I can just, you know, put that on whatever kind of baby. So I thought that was really cute. And then I'll show you all the onesies first. So I got both boy and girl onesies. So, we have, like I said, it doesn't matter what size they are. So, I got another one that has a couple of just, um, just, uh, white with the, you know, just like one animal. So, that's going to be for sale, and then this one's going to be for sale as well. And if anybody wants me to do a custom order, I can do that. I'm going to take the one that I'm keeping out. And then this one I'm keeping. This is why I got it. Or else I wouldn't have got it. I'm going to make this into something for my baby. And this is also just another one that is really just a co-ed... Um, colors, it's just really co-ed. I feel it's more boy, but it could be for really a boy or girl, so, um, I really like it. Plus, with all these animals, uh, I feel like you could just make some really nice toys to, to blend with it, so. So, we have these, and then, um, let's see what else we got. So, let's take a look at some girl stuff we got. We got some really cute girl one and some things I don't know what I'm selling it and what I'm not you know but I can just show you what we have here so we have a pink p 
pink with the elephant on it. And then we have pink with the elephant all over it. I noticed that Gerber has, they make their onesies really small. But the other thing about Gerber though is they have really small print. So like the elephants would be small, the prints are going to be small. And the smaller the print is what you really want to go for, for when you're making something for your miniature babies. It just looks better that way. And then um, I just have a polka dotted gir girl onesie, which is really cute. So we got those. And um, I'll show you something else for a second. So we got some socks. We're going to make some socks smaller. So we're not sure how we're going to do it yet or what we're going to do, but we're going to try and see what we can do. This says 12 to 24 months, but this looks like a newborn size. So we have that pair of socks. We have these girly pair of socks. Because we're going to try and make some socks if we can. We have these, let's say three to six months. And these are really cute. These are three to six months, but I like them. Um, and then we have these. So these are, the, this one and this one is Baby Gap. And this one is, these, I personally like these kind better because they're just like really cute for a real baby or even for our babies. But, um, yeah, so I'll see what I can come up with with these. And then, I don't know if I can even do anything with these. And I figured I would just get them and decide when I get there because it's a really good price. I got four of four um, booties for two fifty. So I said, well, if I can't do anything with them, like if I can't make them smaller or if I can't do anything with them, then I, I can at least just keep them as is, and they're still cute. So you know, um. I'm just not sure what I can do and what I can't do. So, I can always just try one of them. And if I can't do it, then I'll just keep them as is. Or if I just say, nah, you know. Um, the other thing, too, is just that looking at these, I can try and possibly sew my own using material like I can just try and just see what happens so you just take it inside out and you really just see how they're made but to, to get four socks for two I mean four booties for 250 was pretty good and I'm hoping to eventually at one day get a full body silicone baby girl so um, it wasn't going to go to waste, like, if I don't decide to make these smaller. But I'm going to try and see if I can make booties. Um, so let's see what else we have here. So I got these. These are 18 months. So, but I really like the small print and the characters on there. Like, it had elephants, it has a rhino, and I don't even, maybe two different kinds of rhinos? It must be two different kinds of rhinos. I got it for the, uh, believe it or not, I think I got it for the guitars. <laughs> but the cute thing is, is that the, you know, one of the babies can wear that one, while the other baby's wearing this one. But I like the guitar one better. Um... And it was just such cute, small guitar print. 
that I couldn't pass it up. I mean, for two bucks for these two, I mean, it's basically a dollar for each. So, those were for me. And then I got this as well. Now, everybody knows I hate the color green. So, I thought these would be perfect. So, this one is going to be for me. Of course, you got to buy stuff for your own babies. But I have this, and I really like this. And I have it in the bigger babies. So, I want to make sure that I get make something for the smaller babies with this material. And I'll make something out of it. So, I can get it. And if I find another one like this, then all I need to do is um, get it. Uh, and the bigger the better because I can use that material to make a small blanket. So, what I'd like to do is learn how to make what I'm making for the 6 inch baby so we can do that. So we're going to try and see see what we can come up with. So that one's going to be for sale and so is this one. This one just says Jungle Friends. So that one will be for sale and I think I have more anyways that I already own that are going to be for sale. It's just in making them is going to be the problem. I don't have a lot of girl ones, so I kept trying to get some girl ones. Oh, my legs are falling asleep. So I have a couple here to show you. I'm going to open up two so I can show you guys. I'm going to show you two at once. So, I just want to make sure my camera's still working for me. Alright. <laughs> just wanted to make sure because it hasn't been working right today. So, we got this one, which I might keep myself. It says, I love mommy, and it's just gray. And this really looks, even though it's girly, it really does look co-ed to me. You, you guys tell me what you think. So, I, and... Your girls don't have to always wear pink either. So I do like that. And then this one says, I love you. So this one says, I love you. And this is the small print I'm talking about. And then we have this one. And then we got this one as well. This one's definitely going to be for sale. Um, I think that this one might be for sale as well. Not sure yet about this one, because I do like that one, and I like the other one as well, but I'm not sure. And then this one says Little Princess on it, and I'm not sure yet about... I haven't decided yet about that one. <laughs> I just don't know yet. So, I might sell that one, but I'm just not sure yet. So, we haven't decided 100%. So, I have some other stuff too. So we got a couple of hats to work with. I just had to get what I, I mean, for $2.99. I need to go over to Savers and see what they have. Because a lot of times, yeah, I can get, a, you know, these kinds of things in a, in a package. But there's one, two, three, four hats. Okay, so four hats. So we have this one, which I think would be... I'm not sure. It just has a teddy bear off to the side, which is kind of silly. Because I wouldn't be able to use it if it was off to the side. Like the teddy bear. It doesn't matter. If I can't use the teddy bear, I'm fine. I can put the teddy bear on something else. Um, but we have this one. So this is like a co-ed one. And then this one looks like a co-ed one as well. Kind of looks girly, though. And then this one's definitely girly. And then this one's also girly. Um, the only thing about this one is it probably won't have these. So if I did use this one, then it probably won't have these. Unless I just decide to make this for my 12-inch um, baby. I can just make the sides smaller, and then I would be able to keep that. So, I haven't decided yet about that one. Um, and then, 
I got these because this is was another pretty good deal for what was in there. I think there's four. They feel brand new, believe it or not. And I don't know if I can make these into anything, but I thought it would be cute for the babies to have some more of these. Um, I would like to try, but I just I just don't know if I could. And I don't want to wreck something if I'm not sure about something, you know what I mean? Um, but I did figure out how to put snaps on, so I could possibly try and make this out of material and then just add the snaps to it if I had to instead of actually cutting these and do and, and wrecking them you know um, but there is a there is somebody who does make these so I'm not really concer but concerned but it would be nice to have like different designs on there like that and this for them but they don't they never really fit right on the arms the arms are always too big or the this part's too long so i just mentally in my mind i can't get it right yet but when i can if i can then i'll make them but i just thought these were really cute so we'll just use them for what they are now so for four, for four dollars, they were basically 99 cents a piece, or a dollar a piece, I should say. So. Good enough for me. So anyways, we'll move on to something else. We just have so many goodies in here. So I'm not going to take them apart, but we got some mittens because we definitely want to I have some more more boy mittens um already but I needed to get some girl mittens but we have some more boy mittens so these had three boy mittens in this one for dollar fifty and then we have these ones now these particular ones I don't care for for real but when I'm done sewing them they won't look like this anymore so I think they'll look a lot better when I get done with them and we have these ones and these ones so like I said these will look a lot better when I'm done with them and then they'll have the little thing on there and these white ones can be for a boy or for a girl and probably this color too I think and then I see that there's some right here as well. So these will look different. These will look more like these when I get done with them. So we have more socks. I'm going to show you what the rest of the socks we got real quick. Because we wanted to get some socks made for my babies. And we want to get some socks um, made to sell and same thing with the scratch mittens so we wanted to get a bunch of stuff to start with so let me show you what we got here so i'm going to stick these right here for now so we have another pair of girly socks and then a pair of white socks and then a pair of girly socks and then another pair of growing socks. And the other thing, too, about socks is you can make hand mittens out of socks. Now, I don't know about these socks, because these are like those Converse-looking socks. These might just have to stay as socks. I'm not sure about those, because it looks like we got two of those. So we might just leave those for the babies. And then we have these. I have these already, so... I just don't know if I can really make anything out of them using that elephant. So, we'll see. Um, and then we have these socks. And these socks. Another one of these. A pair of a little bit bigger socks. I'm not sure what I can do with that. And then another pair of those. 